So what exactly is glaucoma and what causes it? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be covering just that and more, so let's take a look. Hey guys, welcome to Dr. Eye Health. I am Dr. Joseph Allen, and it's my passion to help educate people about the eyes, vision, and finding the best vision products. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Also, at any point throughout the video, check out the show notes and links below for further information about anything that we forget to mention. Otherwise, let's go over what is glaucoma. So glaucoma is a condition or a disease where the optic nerve dies over time, eventually leading to vision loss and blindness. Now, let's kind of stop and break that into pieces to make more sense out of it. The optic nerve is really the cord that connects the eye to the brain. So light enters the eye, hits the retina, then information gets sent down the optic nerve to the visual processing centers of your brain, and that gives you your eyesight. So if something happens where that optic nerve either gets damaged or eventually dies, then you can't see. And yeah, blindness sucks. However, most cases of glaucoma are actually detected very early with comprehensive eye exams and treatment is excellent. So most people who actually get regular eye exams, they get detected early on with glaucoma, so early that with treatments, most people never go blind from this condition anymore. Except there are some types of glaucoma that are really complicated and severe. So even with the best treatments, some people can lose vision and eventually go blind from this condition. Now, what most people think about when they go to have an eye exam and you think about glaucoma, they think eye pressure because there's this little pressure test in every eye exam that you'll have where, again, we check the pressure and we're checking that to make sure the pressure isn't too high. And that's true. High eye pressure is associated with most types of glaucoma. However, not all of them. Uh, you can actually develop glaucoma even with normal eye pressures, and we call that normal tension glaucoma. And just a fun fact for today's video, a normal eye pressure for most people is considered between 10 and 21 millimeters of mercury. Now, whether somebody gets really high eye pressures or they develop normal tension glaucoma, the treatment is really the same. We prescribe either medicated eye drops or surgery to lower that pressure down. And for most people, the treatment is really good. Uh, however, there are people where even if we bring that lower, that pressure really low, they still advance and they lose vision. And so early detection is really key when it comes to glaucoma. So if you haven't had an eye exam in the last year, I really hope that you can go ahead and call your eye doctor and get seen just to make sure that you're not developing this common disease. So now what causes glaucoma? And honestly, I don't know. In fact, it's kind of still a medical mystery. We don't know the exact cause for glaucoma. However, there are many different theories out there and we do know that most types of glaucoma, again, are associated with that elevated eye pressure. So let's at least go over what eye pressure is inside the eye and how it damages the nerve and causes glaucoma. So within the eye, there's actually a fluid. It's a clear fluid that acts kind of like the blood of the eye. It supplies energy and nutrients to the eye and keeps it healthy. And we call that fluid the aqueous humor. This aqueous humor is generated inside the eye by a structure called the ciliary body. And the ciliary body is constantly generating this fluid all the time, every day. And this fluid actually flows from the ciliary body behind the iris, it goes through the pupil, and then it actually drains through a structure called the angle. And that's that junction that's created by the iris, the colored part of the eye, and the cornea, the clear window to the eye. And so if for some reason this drain gets plugged up, then the ciliary body keeps cranking out more aqueous humor and the pressure starts to get higher and higher. And the problem with high eye pressure, you can think of it like a bike tire filled with a lot of air. If you keep pumping the air pressure higher and higher of that bike tire, the pressure keeps getting higher and the weakest part of the bike tire will eventually thin and bulge outward. And if you keep keep pumping up the, the air, then that bulge will eventually pop. So the same concept happens with the eye. If the pressure keeps getting higher and higher, the weakest part of the eye will bulge outward. And the weakest part is the optic nerve. In fact, we actually call that 
optic nerve head cupping because when the doctor looks at the eye, it looks like a cup. So when that happens, the nerves of the optic nerve, there's about a million different nerve fibers that create the optic nerve. And those fibers actually get pinched off and they eventually die. And that's what causes vision loss. In fact, the vision loss that starts with, the, uh, with glaucoma usually develops so slowly that people don't even realize it's happening until it's too late, until it's almost in the pretty much the moderate stages of the disease. Now, the type of vision loss that if you ever experience glaucoma and you experience the vision loss, it happens in your side vision. Your peripheral vision will slowly fade to dark. And it usually starts in one quadrant, sometimes forms an arc sort of across the top of your vision. It can include the lower part of your vision until it becomes complete tunnel vision. If it continues to progress without treatment, it can even then affect the central part of your vision until you have none left. Now, although eye pressure plays a significant role, it's not the only cause for glaucoma. In fact, the disease is associated with many risk factors such as genetics, age, history of trauma, and then other diseases such as high blood pressure and even diabetes plays a role. So now who's at the greatest risk for glaucoma? Well, the reality is that anybody can develop glaucoma, but people with a family history are more likely. Uh, so if you have a grandma or a grandpa who's had glaucoma or a parent or a sibling, make sure you let your doctor know because they're gonna wanna know that. Also, people in general, as we get older, are more likely. So if you're over the age of 60, you're at a higher risk. If you have uh, any sort of African or Hispanic heritage, you're at higher risk. Now, Again, age and risk go hand in hand for this disease, but you can actually develop it at any time. Even children can be born with glaucoma and we call that congenital glaucoma. Now, the big takeaway I want from this video is that glaucoma can be detected early on and treated to prevent vision loss. Uh, or at least delay it. So it's really important that you have an eye exam. So if you haven't had an eye exam this last year, I hope that you can call your eye doctor and get seen. Remember that you only get two eyes, so please take care of them. So eye health question of the day, have you ever been diagnosed with glaucoma? How long have you had it? And did you find this video helpful? Make sure to connect with us in the comment section below. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to do me a favor, go ahead and hit that like button down below, subscribe if you're new, and share this video with any friends or family that you think it might help. Otherwise, if you'd like to catch other cool videos from Dr. Eye Health, just click or tap the screen up here, or click or tap the screen down here. Otherwise, keep an eye on it, and we'll talk to you soon. Beep. This is Zelda. Zelda's a cute one, isn't she? What do you guys think of Zelda?